Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Hand Together Overview. Reading through it, I'm kinda confused if there's gonna be some AI going on or just purely PvP based experience. Cause that will definitely have an impact on the gameplay, whether you'll be able to play or not at all. <laughs> and with that specific genre, play interaction is everything. So Hand Together is a spooky horror hide and seek game, where in eternal conflict between the hunter and the ghost, you're both trapped in the haunted environment to once for all resolve your dispute and defeat your adversary. It's an interesting concept, very much lies in the same field as inverse and I'm not that familiar with the genre to know if there are other ones really. There's gonna be two modes, either 1v1 or 1v3 in a group to find the spooky trickster or three of them, not totally sure in what direction it could take. The graphics and visual design is kinda on a lower end, I suppose. The trailer shows directly the quest footage, but there's also gonna be PC VR version. The dynamic seems to be pretty straightforward like nothing really difficult to understand like the hunter has to capture the ghost but the other I'm not at all sure how can achieve a win maybe by a set number of successful jump scares or touching the player not at all sure it can very well be a psychological based experience so I might be screwed either way going into this but I'll try my best although I would assume being the perpetrator is much pleasant and less scary so we will see what the gameplay will be. Some potential to be a rather successful release and very depending on the size of the player base that will pretty much form the future of this game. Let's go spook someone out. <laughs> what the... I like how the game starts mysteriously like that. My objective is to gather power from the hunter and then I'll be able to defeat him. Okay, but like... From doing what? Being around? Okay, we move depending where we look. It can be a bit trippy. Can we switch the locomotion already? Cute. I'll definitely try to play with a ghost first, I feel like. Just to get comfortable with the game. Ew. Interaction rod. Wait, I don't get this combination. Right stick forward. But that's turning. What? Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, but it's not comfortable because I'm automatically turning, so... That's what happens when you want to interact with something. <laughs> Oh shit, my ass of Jesus. So creepy. It's like very specific stuff going on. that certain objects do concrete things. 
I just don't like the interaction. Can I maybe disable... I mean, I can, but then I'm not gonna be able to... It's a bit of a mess, honestly. What the? <laughs> Unlimited power! It doesn't really fill up quick, which is nice. But then if we go to him, nothing happens. Well, that was something thematic. <laughs> No, I don't want to be a hunter. But I still can see him. <laughs> So it's not like we unlock everything at once, of course. It's always a good test if the game lets you do it physically, which it doesn't. The hell? I ghost again? Ah, because this is like a different game mode. So we have animation and hide and seek. Which I think this is the group one. The traps. I need to be really like close to it. Anytime now. Uh 
<laughs> I like how they move. Because it's so artificial, but I mean, that's AI. An extensive tutorial. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there are like physics or anything, it's just point and click. Oh, there's a hub, okay. So let's see this first, maybe. No, this is just skins and stuff, which... I don't like any of them. <laughs> so I suppose let's do a quick game, because I don't think we have that much time left, so just throw into the blender. Depending how long we'll wait, actually. Oof, I'm a ghost. And this is hide and seek. Who are you looking at? So now I should just be able to get the hunter, because I filled up the obelisk. What's going on? <laughs> you will be cursed forever, just like me. Um, okay. <laughs> So it seems like there's no voice chat or anything else, so that's kind of interesting. I fully thought there's gonna be just people speaking and stuff. I think what happened is that she started to capture me and then I touched her because we were close to the obelisk, but could I do it outside of it? Like some rules are still a little bit confusing. Well, they were not getting ready in time and I have to finish here.
because the tutorial just took a long ass period. But at least it explained most of the stuff because some are still a little bit not clear. I think it is cute for this specific genre, which I don't think I've ever played nor was a fan of, but in VR it seems to be working and this is a good starting point to it. With stuff like that you need to have a full on catalog and encyclopedia about the informations and then possibilities what to do so it's all about the research and I think it would be nice if the developers added some kind of like information board. In terms of the mechanics I think everything's fine although I don't like the interactional part on the ghost side simply because it interferes with the spinning mechanic so maybe block the character in place when you want to activate something or split up the interaction. The asshole I think is fine, very ambient and puts you in the certain mood. Things here are mostly point and click so it's not like there's physics based anything going on unless you want to touch the hunter. For what it is I think it's good enough even though it's outside of my comfort zone. Like a good entry for anyone that wants to get into this specific gameplay.